Because here, this next topic is going to really kind of set us apart when we kind of go about. <laughs> so this is what we call, I call, you know, we kind of call this the Pandemic Hustler Award. We oh, talk man. about the guys who've been getting it during the pandemic and kind of talk about these guys who kind of like been rising to the top, you know, the cream rise to the top when it comes to this uh, this Hustler Award, especially during the pandemic time. So I'll let you go ahead and kick this one now. Give me your top three or top four uh, Hustlers Award. Who you give them to? Man, okay, and no, and no, and no, uh, no specific order. Man, I want to say, you know, I gotta, you know, you know, we already net said one. You know, you gotta put Spinner on there. That man, like you said, he dropped eight projects in this year. Like, come on, man, this 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 man was constantly working, constantly giving us uh, new music to listen to. So that's gonna be uh that's gonna be one of the, one of the guys I, I go with. Um, Man, it, I want to say after him, after him was kind of like, ah, man. I want to say, okay, this guy I'm about to say I haven't been putting out a lot of projects. He ain't put out a lot of projects yet, but he's been dropping. He's been on feature. He's been featuring on a lot of different projects. I'm about to go with uh, Gibbs. I think Gangsta Gibbs is uh, Gangsta Gibbs is brave enough to drop something after the Alfredo, right? He dropped Alfredo last year. I think he had 2020. He didn't drop nothing this year, but I think he gearing up because I've been hearing him on different, a lot of different features. Uh, he dropped that, he dropped that one with Kiss, you know, that was cold, you know what I mean. So I think, I think he gearing up to to drop something early this year sometime, you know, 2022. I don't, I haven't, I haven't seen anything, but uh, I think he going he gearing up to drop something. But I want to say Gibbs is up, is on there for me. So uh, Spitter, Gibbs, and uh, man. Man, that's all I got for right now. I haven't been hearing really nobody that's been dropping this year, dropping like multiple projects, just just uh just killing the game right now. What about you, man? Who you got? Yeah, man, man I'm gonna rock with uh I'm gonna go with uh, Swiss and Tim for selling that um, versus the Triller. Oh, my versus, gotcha. yeah, they sold versus the Triller, man. And then they hit the IPO. You know, this IPO gonna hit them. They gonna they gonna basically capitalize off something that they built within a two year span you know what i mean yeah like you know yeah. 2020 you know versus took over the internet you know when we had nothing yeah. to do we had versus yeah. look forward to and then they actually progressed it where they went to apple and then now they went to, and sold it to to title i mean sold it to Triller. so they've been able mm -hmm. to give ipo and then give some of the shares back to the people who are part of it in the beginning so i think that's a real boss up hustler move yeah um again yeah. I like you you know i want to i want to give you know a, a hustler award to currency you know currency put in that work this year you know we can't let that go unnoticed you know this guy put yeah. in eight projects man like eight you know solid projects bro like yeah i've never seen an artist kind of you know flood the market with that much music besides like wayne and gucci back in the day you know man he went on yeah. a crazy run this year just dropping some solid music man and, and i'm pretty sure he has more to come and a lot of mm -hmm. artists you know might need to take heed of what he's doing and kind of stay in the you know in the public eye kind of dropping the music he was doing it like once every couple of months he's just dropping projects you know what i mean and he just dropped yeah. his latest one so you know he he's definitely kind of been putting his work in and then like my last one i want to kind of uh, give a shout out to you know jay 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 did a big thing this year i don't know if a lot of people have seen him but he sold you know a part of ace of spades to hennessy you know to the hennessy company he sold ace of spades to hennessy and yeah. he sold a portion of title to square so you know what i mean there's just some some just some hustler moves you know what I mean? kind of moving you yeah. know moving in his own lane you know he's a probably one of the best businessmen that's kind of in the industry and a lot of other people look up to him for you know his business acumen and with the things that he do in the business so i believe he really kind of like set himself apart when he sold those two two businesses and kind of really made some money because he bought little to nothing in those companies and turned around and made a, a nice huge profit on it so definitely, that's one thing and then i like to give one bonus one to the guy you know saying that south legend boosting man uh. for producing his <laughs> own movie <laughs> <laughs> and, and selling, he said he sold a million up front on the move, and it only cost him a couple hundred thousand to make it. So, you know, he's one of the the internet's villains. You know, they always yeah, trying to cancel hey. him on the internet. You I know, love Boosie. Grandma Boosie was taking his account it. now. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. So for him to kind of go in there, produce his own movie, and then yeah. kind of make you know make that money back right off the rip. You know what I mean. So that was a big Boosie hustle funny, for him. Boosie, yeah, man, had me rolling, man. Hey, I got one more, man, because I, I was keeping it on music. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, know it was. Man, I got it. So uh, one more, I gotta give it to Fifty. 
I got to give it to 50 Cent. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because 50, 50 dropping them shows like mixtapes, man. Yes, sir. So yes, he hit me back to back with the, okay, I'm going to drop BMF. Then when, with the season finale of BMF, I'm going to hit you on the same night with the season premiere of uh, The Ooh, Book of Ghosts. Uh, you know yep. what I mean? So, man, I don't know what's coming next. I'm thinking Tommy is going to come because you still yeah, got the show. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what he going to drop with the season finale of The Book of Ghosts. I'm pretty sure he go he gonna be coming with another show. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, man, yeah, this man went, took a took a whole uh uh station. Not oh, station, yeah, but. he went he went over to the stars and just like had them. They was at the bottom of the barrel when it when it comes to viewership, and he went yeah. over there and lit them up. You know what I mean? And yeah. now he got he's able to kind of do whatever he wants to. And I heard that he's also gonna be producing the uh the Snoop Dogg you know oh, like yeah. documentary type show. So he's gonna bring it to life as well too. You know, so yeah. for him to be able to go over there and work with Courtney Kemp. And kind of put out all these shows, man. It's like that's yeah. pretty big, bro. And that's pretty big to have yeah. him like one after another. Like I said, he dropped the finale of one show and then dropped the premiere of another show at the same night. Like he's killing same it on night. stars. He's killing same it, night. man. And he's using his social media, you know, to, he know how fifty is on the social yep. media. He using that to push, you know, he throw his little jokes in with people and, yep. and, and just, but yeah, he always so he always keeping his na- his name and his uh and the stuff he put out always just just there out there you know what i mean so yeah man so yeah. he's definitely one of those hustlers man so 